Hey Gam Fam, this is one of your most awaited tours. Before anything else, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. Kokoro bedroom where all the magic happens. Just kidding. <laughs> but we're about to do our master bedroom tour. It took us a while because I feel like there is still something missing in this room. But I can't prolong it any longer. I am now answering the call of the people. Just. But yeah, let's start our master bedroom tour. So this is where you enter our bedroom. As you can see, it's very spacious. It's unlike most bedrooms because it's got these rounded walls, these curved walls, which I find really, really nice. I mean, if you've seen our Kokoro house hunting vlog, you'd see that this house that we ended up getting was, it had a lot of curves. Like it's always like a round and a curve. The only thing that posed as a challenge for us because it's curved is that it's hard to look for ma curtain rods that's already ready made. We really had to to have it custom made so that we'd have curtains here because I just can't imagine a bedroom without any curtains. I feel like curtains really really soften a room and it really creates a warmer environment and it makes the house look more like a home. I mean if you add more soft textures then I feel like your house becomes warmer especially when you first enter the house. So let's come over here. I wasn't a fan of Solia weaves before but I don't know why ever since we moved into the Kokora house, I found myself starting to like all these Solia furniture. So when Yoni and I were thinking of a bed frame for us, I said, no, let's really look for like something that's a bit more native looking. I think most people know that our fashion sense is very Scandinavian, very modern, very minimal. But I feel like that's the best mix. Something that looks more traditional and then you mix it with the Scandinavia and something modern and minimalist. It's such a nice contrast. So that's what we went for this bed. So as you can see, it looks a bit more traditional. It's got Solikia weave here. We had it made by Artesania, so it's custom made for us. It's king size. I first saw their work in um, Saitem. It's like a fair that happens in World Trade. And then there's a lot of like different mga local manufacturers of furniture from the Philippines. So Artesania is one of them and I love how they made this. So it's got a dark wood finish and then we went for something lighter for the weave. And then I said na just so we have like a modern touch to it, I really wanted the stand of the bed to have this gold touch pen because you guys know I love gold. And then we have here our beautiful 100% mulberry silk sheets that Yoni loves. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but before moving into here, I already bought this two king size sheets so we have an alternate and then like a main sheet for our bed. I bought it when we were in Singapore. It was on sale. It was one of those like really branded sheets, but Pixie, our beautiful dog Pixie, bit them both. So I had to look for new sheets for us and super duper sacto because THX Silk reached out to us and it's such a beautiful silk sheet. Like Yanni didn't know. I just changed it. He didn't notice it at first, okay? When he went inside the room, he didn't notice the other sheets. The next day when he woke up, he was like, our sheets are new. These feel so good. I love them. I don't know who told me this, but they said that if it's silk now, if it's cold, it becomes hotter. And then if it's hot, it makes you cold. And I really wanted something na silk because I always read that your sheets are so important, especially when it comes to your skin. So he didn't concern ni Yoni. The concern of Yoni was the comfort level that it was giving him and like the temperature level that the silk was giving him. But for me, the concern ko was wrinkles, my skin. And people say that it's better though if you sleep with like using silk sheets and everything because it doesn't rub on your skin so you don't get wrinkles. And also, I read on their website that apparently pala, um, silk sheets are also very hypoallergenic. Like it repels dust mites. So if you've got asthma or allergies and anything like that, like these are the kinds of sheets that are perfect for you. And plus, these sheets are actually certified that they have no harmful ingredients, like no chemical ingredients that were used for this. So nothing harmful for your skin. And then also my slip dress, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this. My slip dress is also from THX Silk. So it's really super duper comfy. Before getting married, I would sleep in like whatever pajamas I had. Like mod t-shirts, like loose shirts, or like these big holes. But I said nah, I've gotta step it up. I now have a husband. I wanna look good. So there you go. I also have this silk slip dress for the house. 
So, and then we have here also these pillow shams. So, this one, I got this from Lace Manila. So, I asked them if they could put like C and J. So, Yoni has J. Just so we can mix and match. So, we have like two pillows. So, one with this one. This is king size and this is queen. And then I wanted to put some other color para it looks more... Wait lang, that OC and me hit. Okay, so that it looks like there's a nice mix of it. It's not so dark. There's still some light color that kind of matches our blush curtain. we have my nightstand. So this nightstand is actually from Menu, which is one of the brands that we carry in Creole Cavern. Siyempre, shameless plug. So it's actually real marble. So you can't really wash it the normal way. You have to have this like marble spray to be able to wash it properly. And then I have here my charger, which a lot of you are asking me. It's from Native Union. It's a gift from Yoni. If you've seen my previous room tour, then you've already probably seen it. So this is how it works. You tap it once and then there's light that will come out of it. And then you tap it twice and it goes up. So all my chargers are here. And it's not messy and it's clean. We used to have one for me and one for Yoni, but Yoni's got destroyed because our help here at home didn't know how to put it down. So nasira siya, parang pinilit niya. So now Yoni doesn't have it. So he was the one who bought it and gifted it to us, but now he doesn't have it. Hee <laughs> hee. So now ako na lang meron ito. You can never have too much marble. So aside from this, I also have like a marble coaster over here that you've probably also seen in my last room tour. So it says letter C. And then my extra one, I gave it to Yoni. And then we have here a nice lamp in gold. So again, I really wanted to mix like a lot of different types of texture, like more local, traditional looking stuff, and then mix in with these modern elements. So I feel like it's really such a nice way to make the room well balanced. And then over here, I put some greens lang. At first, I really wanted to put like a real plant. You'll see later that our room is already starting to look like a forest, but I couldn't put a real plant here because the sun doesn't really come in too much on this area, so we can survive. So this is actually a fake plant. If you're wondering where I bought it, I got it from Landmark. Landmark has a lot of these fake plants that are really, really nice. But yun nga lang, fake plants are much more expensive than expensive plants. There's a reason naman because, you know, it's easier to maintain, so I guess that's why the convenience, I guess, is also what you pay for. But if you were to ask me, I would rather that it's a real plant because I'm a true 100% plant tita. <laughs> and then over here before we move on to Yoni's side so this is our cabinets that you've already seen when I did my bag collection tour this is Yoni's side so he has a cabinet here that he's supposed to put his bags in but now he's just put random trash in there so don't look at it. So this is again by SB Furniture. You know that all of our closets here in the room are made by SB Furniture. So they wanted to make this look like a built-in thing here. Na hindi lang siya And that's why they made sure to do this archway here. So it looks more cohesive. It's not just like cabinet and then door. I think it's a really nice idea. When they first pitched this to me, I was like, mm, I don't get why we need that. But now I get it. SB Furniture is right. It's really nice because they have their in-store like my interior designer so they're able to really advise you like okay this is what we're gonna do this is what best fits in your home so as you can see there's not a lot of things here yet because i really wanted to fill it with stuff that we buy from our future travels on. so we just have like some of my decor from my previous room tour so you guys know this is ralheim it's a south african brand that we also carry in Creo cavern so they're all handmade ceramics that's why if you buy your mga ceramics naman from Creo cavern nga, you'll see that not one is the same with the other because every Everything is handmade, hand painted, so you'll really see na difference in the Also, this corner is also for Yoni. I think that's really just my role in life to manage Yoni's stuff. He always comes in and then he removes all of his stuff and he usually puts it here. And sobrang kalat niya. At first, I was telling him na okay, this is just for your phone, watches, key, or anything that like you need to remove. Let's just put it there, just so it's still pretty and nisha na kaano sabi. Okay, okay. And then weeks and weeks after, biglang he would put everything, literally everything, like kung may makuha siyang receipt or booklet or brochure. Sure, everything is just dumped there. So I go, you know what? I'll just give you this beautiful gold pail passed down to me by my mother so that all your kalat is there and I don't see it. That's the main point for me not to see it. And then he also has all these coins that he never puts in his pocket. I think it's a guy thing because you know they don't have bags. So I don't know what the wallets are, right? So I feel like he always just comes home with all these coins. So I also gave him this jar for all his coins. Actually, until now, I still see it all over the house. And then I would just take it and just put it here because it's hard to train them how to cease, you know? This is a gold apple. It's actually a container. So we have like random keys here. This is actually from my mother. And I feel like I need to ask for how to clean this because mom, it's very dirty now. So don't stare at it. My mother will judge me. 
and think that I'm not a good homemaker. And then, so I really love watching Architectural Digest on YouTube. So I love watching all the celebrity homes or just my homes for sale. And Yoni also loves it and it's one of the channels that we watch together. And in one episode, Tan France of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy was showing his house and he had like a candle cabinet. So I was like, ah! Oh, Gusto ko rin magkaroon ng candle cabinet, guys. But his was like a full-on like pantry-level cabinet. So, akin isang shelf lang. So, my candles are here. All the ones that I haven't used or haven't displayed around the house. So, I just put them all here together with this thing that I bought in Bali. So, we've got here all the different candles that I'm saving. We have a lot of candles scattered around the house naman na to begin with. But, sayang kasi if I put everything out, I feel like sayang yung scent niya natatanggal. So, I'm just gonna keep them here. I feel like this is my tita cabinet. So, our candles are here. My essential oils are here, some Young Living, This Works Pillow Spray, and then we have here mga Neil's Yard, Massage Oil, mga Pillow Mist, also our Room Mist. Also, sometimes if I want like our room to smell a certain way, I also get it from here. So everything's just organized and not magulo. And then I also have this thing here. So this is like a crystal case. Um, you guys have probably seen it in my unboxing. So it's from Moss Manila Home. And they gave me also this crystal bracelet. I don't know how I feel about crystals yet and their power. I'm not really sure if it's something that I believe in just yet. But I still place it here because it's really beautiful. And it's a crystal for the household. So it's to maintain a peaceful household, a less stressful household. And I feel like it works because someone or something was causing me stress the past few weeks and now that thing is gone so now there's no more stress and then we have here our pineapple set that again it's from my mother again i need to find this brass cleaner so if you guys know what the best brand is for these brass decor let me know how i could clean them because when they used to be at my mom's home they were super duper like sparkly and bright and then we have here some more like small decor lang that i bought these are super duper cheap. I think these are just from, um, I can't remember if Ikea or Target. And they're sold as a set. And then we have here, I bought this from a vintage store. Ta-da! And then here, we've got more plants. So this is my plant corner. I wanted to put like so much plants here. Para it's gonna look like this forest area over here. But it doesn't really get a lot of sun. So that's why I also had to buy this plant light for my plants. You've been seeing this on my Instagram stories. I have a couple of them here at home. I'm gonna put a link down below where you guys can find all of the stuff that I'm saying. So like for example, this slip dress, the silk sheets, and also this flat bro light just so I could help all of you beautiful homemakers out there. So this one really works because before I bought this plant grow light, my Monstera was struggling and look at it now flourish. I feel like Monsteras are one of the most gorgeous indoor plants that you can have or home plants that you can have but they're also one of the hardest to understand I feel like. I really wanted to take care of it that's why I invested in a grow light. Almost all of our plants are actually from Nest Plant Studio so even our pots are also from them. And we have there my Dyson which is always timed accordingly like it opens from a certain time onwards just so we can make sure that the air around our house is super duper purified and especially here in the bedroom because I have a lot of allergies and Yoni also gets us allergies and the dogs sleep with us and Pixie sheds so much so this one really really helps us a lot and then we have here a cheese mist in my gold bucket this is all our dog cleaning stuff just in case there are moments where our dogs aren't so smart and they commit accidents so they are here in our nice beautiful gold bucket and then we have here a shelf over here this is also from Kuryu Cavern it's from one of our brands called Item so Item is a Danish brand that I super duper love they have so many cool like small little decor and items that you could put inside your home. So this is a shelf that we drilled into. We have our Google Home over here. Hey Google, how are you today? I'm having a great day, thanks. I was just looking up some fun things to do. Oh wow, okay. Thank you, Darum Snabe. I mean, I just said, how are you? Darum Snabe, what are you doing? Okay. And then over here, we have our curtains. So we've got like a sheer curtain and also our super duper plush velvet curtains. So we chose this color. It does look more feminine, but I feel like it's a nice contrast to the dark colors of this room. So I wanted something that would add like a softer and more feminine touch to the room so it doesn't look too manly because of of all the greens and the dark colors. So yeah, we got this from Home Fabrics Manila. So I'm gonna put that also below. They have so many good fabrics. They're usually for upholstery. So they do a lot of like mga upholstery fabrics for the chairs, for the furniture. And then now they recently started doing also mga for the curtains. And their collection is getting so, so, so much bigger now. And I love all the colors because they have all these like subdued colors. So you guys should check them out also. And then we have over here Pixie's bed. So this is from Bauhaus. 
So we usually have a change of sheets for everyone. So not just us, we also have like an alternate sheet for Sina Pixie and Penny so that all their beds are super duper clean. So we have like an extra sheet for her. This used to be Penny's bed actually. But for some reason, when we moved into this house, Penny refused to sleep on it already. Like she would always sleep on the floor or sleep on the bed with us. Now she's been trained not to go on the bed again because we don't want Pixie to feel bad because Pixie is not allowed on the bed because she will eat our sheets again. If you're wondering where Penny's bed is, it's right here, right below our bed. Actually, I'm lying. This is not the real placement of the bed. I'm gonna try it tonight. Maybe Penny will sleep here. But before, because when I first bought this bed, she didn't want to sleep on it because I felt like she wanted to see us. So I would put it here, like right beside my area, and then she would sleep on it. And then I bought this also because Penny has more hair. So I bought this, parang, it's called the Green Pet Shop. It's like a cold mat for her because I feel like she finds it so hot to be on the bed. That's why she chooses to be on the floor or with us because that's where the air comes in. So then I bought her this cold mat just so she would feel colder so it gets activated with the body weight of the dog so if the dog is there it gets activated in a few seconds and it gets cold i can already feel like it's cold I th i'm actually kind of jealous because i love the cold i researched so much before buying this i bought this from amazon it's from pet fusion and it's actually got memory foam and everything because i feel like penny is starting to act like an old dog so she's getting super duper choosy so she really wants like a super comfy bed so far it has worked fine like she really sleeps on this bed pixie is actually not allowed to go on this carpet so pixie just goes on <laughs> edges penny is allowed to go on the carpet because she doesn't get any access or she doesn't bite the carpet but she isn't allowed to go on the bed now because we want to be fair for the both of them because if you need to get to pixie if she sees the pennies with us and then she's just on the floor so no one is allowed on the bed anymore i wasn't really a fan of like the dark floor color here or like the glossy finish and because we can't really change the finish i wanted to buy like a big enough area rug for this room it took me a while to find one because it's just impossible to look for like really big ready-made rugs here in the Philippines. So I bought this off, I will double check, but I think it's from overstock.com. It's a US-based website and I had it shipped na lang through like a forwarder para the customs isn't so expensive. I bought it on sale and that's why it still works really, really well. Like the pricing is still okay even considering the shipment and everything. And I love that it's this color. It's a lot para mga discoloration jan. So if ever like Pixie or Penny does some mistakes, which hasn't happened yet, I think it has only happened twice. Hindi pa yun siya so as I was saying, it's really nice if you add in mga soft textures to your home. It makes it look more homey, warmer. And that's really what you want your bedroom to look like the most. Like it's supposed to look so comfortable and something that you really look forward to coming home to. So yeah, soft textures down like the carpet and the curtains. So now we're on to Yoni's side of the room. Oh, before that, I wanted to show you this. Send nudes <laughs> are posters that you've seen on my Europe shopping haul. So we had it framed already and it's super duper cute. It's not a big size, it's just the right size. We drilled them onto the wall ourselves and I feel like they look perfect with our room. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is Yanni's side of the room. On his side, we've got real plants over here because snake plants really survive naman even with like very, very minimal light. So we have here two snake plants and then I bought also my gold stand from my old uh, room tour. I brought it to this house so that we could also use it. So it's just a nice way to mix and match the greens. So we've got greens over here for Yoni that's more like vertical and then we have here like something more flamboyant. So as you can see, our side tables are drastically different. Yoni doesn't have much because now he doesn't have that thing anymore. But he has here a coaster that I donated. So it's also a marble coaster but it looks more manly so this is on his side. And then he's got his glasses over here. And also this silk eye mask that if you saw my bedtime beauty hacks, this was also one of my beauty hacks. I told you guys that it's much better if you use mga 100% silk mask for your eye mask because then you don't get wrinkles. And Yoni gets a lot of like wrinkles here and here. So I got him this from, again, from PHX Silk because I'm sure that they're 100% silk and they don't have any like harmful ingredients. And again, it helps with the allergies and everything because the dust doesn't stick onto the fabric. So yeah, this is what he uses. Although I take it with me when I travel, I get it from him because sharing is caring. <laughs> Again, I will put the link down below so you'll know how to find these stuff. Actually, this actually I think has a set. I got a matching one so that when I travel, I also have this eye mask from PHX Silk. And then I also have this pillowcase. Wait lang, hold on, I'll do some magic. Magic! <laughs> 
So this is a pillowcase that I bring with me when I travel. People always say na you don't really know how clean the sheets are when you travel, right? I experienced this before that when I slept, when I woke up, I had these like small dots all over my face. So feeling ko na irritate siya with the pillow. So now, to be safe, I bring this pillowcase with me that's also 100% mulberry silk. That's also from THX Silk. I got like a bigger size just so if it's a bigger pillow in the hotel, it still fits. One size fits all. And then over here, please don't stare at it because I did such a bad job trying to stick the <laughs> sticker onto the fridge. So I really am so annoyed because it's like a silver color. It's not an all black color. And like my previous refrigerator in my old room, I really wanted like an all black one. But when Yoni and I was shopping around, we didn't find a good size in black. So we had to buy this one that had like a grayish door. So then I found this on Etsy. And it's a marble print sticker that you can stick onto your cabinets or on your wall or your appliances. It doesn't harm the appliances because you can easily remove them. But then I was sticking it onto the door by myself, so which wasn't a good idea. So that is why it's not perfect. My mouth and bubbles. But anyways, at least it solved my problem because I hated that it was such a dark area here, right? Just below my color na it's not really dark. So I felt like I really needed to buy something. And then we have a few of our like souvenirs from previous events here. That's why I just stuck on our photos over here. And then we have here my tray that's also from my previous room tour. I brought it onto here. So every night when we come up, this is where we put our water, our picture, and everything. And then I also have some snacks here. This is actually a gift from Yanni's parents. It's from Itala. So it's one of those famous Finnish brands. And this biscuit inside is a gift from Chris's mom. Oh there. Apparently, it's healthy though for you. You won't get fat because sesame biscuit though, siya. So, yan siya. Thank you, Tita Irene Go Oi, for this. If you open my fridge, it's not a lot of food is there. A lot of skincare is there. But all of the food is here. So, I have a snack basket. So, if you've seen our most likely to vlog, I may or may not be known to snack. I may or may not be known to be a muncher. This may or may not be a proof of that. And then you'll also see Pixie's sweater over here. We bought Pixie a sweater. Na hindi na niya ginagamit ngayon. Penny has bit it off of Pixie. So, <laughs> Penny was trying to save her sister. But yeah, we bought this for Pixie because we felt that she might be feeling cold because she was tiny diba before. So we wanted to buy her a cute sweater that now Penny has ruined. And then over here in this area is my makeup. My makeup drawer. This is from SB Furniture as well. It came a bit later than everything else because we ordered it later. But it's so so cute because it also actually fits our color scheme here. These are all my makeup stuff. I have like a lot of these different items. If you guys want a new makeup collection vlog, then let me know. I will hook you up. I do know who handles this vlog. I will tell her that you want it. Okay, okay. Then over here we have my beautiful scent. Actually, it doesn't give off that much scent, but it's beautiful, right? This is from Max Benjamin. They sent this to me after I started like buying from them because they really have the nicest diffuser jars. And then we have here a bunch of candles, like different candles, just to set the mood because you guys know I love my scents. I know that a bunch of you are concerned about my fur babies. I make sure that the fur babies are not here or I make sure that these are really, really okay for them because I know the fumes can be bad for the pets. And then we have here because I really want to feel like a true madame. Like when you're supposed to close the candle, tapos your long robe is swinging, and then you go there and you're like, ah, let me close it. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. And then we have here my Young Living Diffuser because you guys know I love my essential oils. And yes, I do know that some essential oils are poisonous to our pets. So I do research them a lot. And then we have here my Dyson Air Wrap, which is nicely kept here. It's a really nice leather case, which is why I decided na let it be revealed to the world because it's so cute. Niya. No need to hide it inside the drawers because the case is really nice. And then we have here my makeup area. I really wanted to make sure that my makeup area is facing the sun so that if I choose to put my makeup on using daylight, I feel like that's the best because when you put on makeup, much better than these lighted mirrors. Like It's so much better if you can use real daylight. Because then you could really see how your makeup looks without the having to mix with the lights of the mirror. But of course, we do have those instances where we're putting on makeup during the afternoon, late afternoon, or there's no more sun. So that's why I have this mirror over here. It's from Glamcore also. It's the same brand that I got in my lights for our mirror in our bathroom. So it's the same brand. So you can mix it. Parang pwede siya mag-day 
Pwede rin siya mag-warm lang. And then you can dim it also. This table is actually from my old room tour. If you guys remember, this used to be my work desk in my room. So it's also by Mossa Manila. It's a marble desk that I had custom made. And then we have here this chair that kind of matches our bed frame. So I really wanted this part to match our bed frame. And also here. And I don't know why, but I have this face with the green color. So I really like how it's like a subtle green color. It's not bright. It's not dark. I really love how it's in between. So it's in a velvet fabric that's also made by Artesania. Yoni though always complains about this chair. Because if you can see yung legs niya, it's not the same. Like the legs at the back, it's actually slanted. Because Yoni is such a giant at night when this is like positioned like this. He always trips on this one, like he always hits his toe. So I'm so sorry, Yoni. But it is beautiful. And then finally, we've come to the last corner of our room. So it's my jungle area. So we've got here all my little plants. He is struggling. I need to water it some more. And then we have here my super beautiful plants. Everyone is flourishing. Every week, there's a new leaf. Or every other week, there's a new leaf. Which is why I'm super my bamboo palm was super struggling before. You could see like these were the two dead stems before. But now it's super duper flourishing and it's super duper happy here because it's really really by the sun. And I don't know if you know on my IG stories but I always have these watering days. So weekly I always water them and I take care of them myself. So this is how I am every morning with my golden watering can. So yun siya. So there, and thankfully, Penny is over her plant-eating phase and she's not eating any of my plants. So now they're all flourishing. And that is it for our bedroom tour. I hope that you guys liked it. And um, leave me some comments below, positive comments. Spread some love. Do not spread hate because we are all positive, happy people. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this. See you guys on my next vlog.